Hello, <laughs> you're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. That's part of Tequila Aficionado Media. I am Mike Morales, and you're not. And he <laughs> is. I'm Rick Levy. <laughs> Rick is in San Diego, and Rick, you and I have been walking, uh, walking through the agave fields of Amatitan with, with Azunia. Azunia. And we have we have raved about the Blanco. This is the organic Azunia, the 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 newest iteration, uh, or the yeah. second coming of Azunia is is officially organic. From the new distillery, yes, uh, non fourteen twenty six. Mm -hmm. The original was at fifteen oh three, right. uh, not far away, but uh, a different distillery, mm -hmm. and uh, now it is organic at the fourteen twenty six distillery. Yes, uh, when when they moved, they also acquired. Uh, I think they got a lot of things straightened out, and they acquired some investors. And one of them is Bill Walton, the guy from the, the ex basketball player from UCLA, and whose son played for the Lakers, and I think he played for the Portland Trailblazers. Or was it uh, Seattle? No, it's Portland. Anyway, uh, we're going to try something really cool. This is their this is their extra. I mean, show the box, Rick. Rick got a box. Yeah, we need the, we need the music from uh, 2001. Yeah. You know, we've got the uh, uh, obelisk here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. He, so, got, he got that special so box, I just get a bottle. So, all right. And then black paper. I'm keeping yes. black. Mm. So they're calling this Azunia Black. And it is hand signed and numbered by the master distiller. It's also got a nice little uh, symbol on the neck tag here. You know, you can, you, when you're done with it, you can probably. Oh, wear it bling, it. it's got bling. Yeah, it's got a little bling on it, a little symbol. You know, you can wear it on your wrist or on your charm bracelet or, you know. That's what it's for. Believe it or not, that's what it's for. You know, that's, there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a rule of thumb that people ascribe to that your tequila has to come in a beautiful bottle, has to be great juice, and has to have a symbol. So their symbol is the agave because, of course, these come from a long line of agaveros, naturally. That's right. I'm going to be using my Bermioli glass tonight, which is uh, courtesy of Chisholm Trail Glassware here in I Texas. have been using the Bermioli, but now I'm going to switch to the Stossel ah. because I'm finding that, at least for me so far, the Stossel is bringing out wood notes. You can see the cap is, is similar to the types of caps that, that we've had with the, uh, with the regular. Oh. It's a taller cap. Yeah, yeah, it's taller. Uh, I mean, also it, it, it also comes in a wooden box, you know, if you're lucky. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rick is always too lucky. What can I tell you? <laughs> he got the yeah. box. That's okay. That's all right. All uh, right. Okay, so now this, look this at the is color. a much deeper color. Yes. Now, this is two years in American oak. The Añejo was, I believe this is the Añejo right here. The Añejo was 18 months. So, it's not that much longer in no, oak. No, it's not. It, there it, is a slight difference in color. It, it's just, just a, a tad deeper. I'm sure the price points of tad more expensive also <laughs> yeah well i believe the price on this is 90 dollars for the xa yeah, you know that's not bad for an xa honestly because some xas uh the Nieho was 45 <laughs> well yeah but you know um the other 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 extra añejos are much more expensive depending i think it depends on the on the outlet that you're you're you you frequent you know wherever the liquor store you go to oh my gosh Now I'm getting a, a much sharper nose on this one. Um, For me, it's not as sharp as the Inyeo was. See, I'm getting could, I'm, I'm getting a sharper the, nose. Could be the could could different be the glassware. I, I I'm not sure. I I don't know. I'm finding that the uh, you know we found with the Inyeo that the uh, 
the aromas and flavors were much deeper and richer and, you know, very concentrated on the, the barrel end of the flavor profile. And uh, I think, you know, what I'm getting initially here on the aroma is a continuation of that, certainly. It's it's a, it, it's amplified even more for me anyway. There's a lot. There's a sweet note at the top, maybe more vanilla. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you're right. The vanilla is rising to the top. Yeah. I think I might be getting like a little bit of coffee note in there. Wow. And you know the butter and caramel is mixed in there. No, probably more caramel than butter. I'm not getting hardly any alcohol either, Rick. Hardly yeah. at all. Yeah. I was getting, I felt like I was getting a lot more alcohol off the Añejo. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. Maybe that uh, last two months is when the angels come down and take their share. <laughs> they can take some of that alcohol anytime they want. Yeah, so I'm getting like, uh, I'm getting. A little bit of fresh ground coffee. Yeah, that's what I'm tasting uh, or smelling. I, I'm getting something something charred, like a like a maybe more a heavier toast of some sort, or a, yeah. or a, uh, I don't know, coffee or cocoa or something. Yeah, you know, something bitter, like a bitter chocolate, maybe. Yeah, I feel like I would want to have this like to accompany this. I'd want to have like some dried figs and nuts yes. or something. Yes. Now see this one, this one, Rick. I would, I would, I would do with a cigar. With a cigar, yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do it with the, with the, the, the añejo. I think the añejo was a little bit on the sweet side, and you know you'd have to, you'd have to use a, a, probably a cigar with not much character, so it didn't fight. But this one would stand up to a cigar. Yeah, I agree. And not that I'm a cigar drinker, but uh, I think if. Uh, if you tried to have the añejo with a cigar, you would sort of lose the añejo to the cigar. Yes. But here, I think they could They'd complement. match up really well. It would be a good matchup. I got to try it. I got to try it, man. Mm. Oh. Mm. That is sweeter. And thinner on the palate. It, doesn't, it is. It's not... It's not coating the palate the way the añejo did. Yeah, the añejo. We talked off camera, Rick and I, and we mentioned that the we had to do some rinsing, uh, you know, some palate cleansing between sets, because the añejo was clinging to your palate. And, yeah, and that's okay. Sure. Not a bad thing. But this yeah. one here is it's much thinner. You're right. The 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 structure is thinner, but the flavor is really, it's really good. It's almost it reminds me of the blanco again. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, I can see that. It's almost like it's kind of coming full circle. Yeah, like yeah, like it's a like it's a circle of life. Like I should hold it. Mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> like I should. Oh, ah! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you gotta learn to do that. You know, like like a Lion King. <laughs> We're having way too much fun here, folks. Um, uh, this is this is. Wow, this is and not I, so sweet. If you're expecting saying, a sweet XA, you're not going to get it. We're saying full circle, but you know, it's not like it's not like I'm I'm finding the the blanco, the agave. You know, it's really still very much on the wood and right. you know, dried fruits and barrel notes. The the effect that it's giving us is very similar to the effect that the blanco gave us. Yeah, that that, that it's just grabbing you by the shirt collar and going taste me you know i'm not here to hide you know this is all barrel but it's not you know like i said it, if you're a cigar smoker you guys get it you know that the añejo probably wouldn't stand up to a cigar but this extra this xa even an even fight right there it's that be a good like a good prize fight yeah and i like that it's not super sweet you know there is some sweetness there but it's not you know like a Really right. heavy some, person some, kind of thing. Some extra añejos can be really on the sweet side. And, you know, uh, here it worked in reverse. I think the añejo was sweet on purpose. This one's more like the bitter chocolate, tobacco, coffee, 
it's more exactly. of, maybe there's more of a char and that could be why they're calling it Azunia Black. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Maybe they're finishing it for two months in a in a deeper chart barrel. Could be. Yeah. A, the, yeah. the the notes on the on the label don't tell us. Excuse me, but um, but you know we can we can. If somebody knows out there and you're watching us on YouTube or you've had it or you you have access to to one of those guys who, who know the master distiller, for instance, you know, let us know because it could be that they're doing something like you said, finishing it off on a much deeper charred barrel or something. There's something that's going on that's giving it an, an extra layer of character that is absent in the Añejo. And I like it. Honestly, I like it much more than the Añejo. Yeah. Yeah, well, so after you have your dessert and you're ready for your cigar, there you go. You bring out this guy. Because, <laughs> you know, Azunia is the new black. <laughs> <laughs> I think organic is a new black. I, what a beautiful, what a beautiful yeah. rainbow of tequila, you know, the progression. And, and I have to say, again, I'm really, really impressed with what's coming, what, what, what's happening with Reposados these days. Uh, I think I, I, I think that everybody's trying to make a statement and they're doing it with the repo and I think that's a good thing. I think that's a nice trend to look for. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So what do you think? I, I guess I guess this black kind of stood up to the Stotzel pretty well, huh? I think so. Um I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I'm getting off the Stossel that I'm not getting off the Glen Care. It's going to take a little bit more time, you know, to... to yeah. It's going to take a few more tequilas, folks. <laughs> and I think, you know, there's there's a lot going on here, too. So oh, it's yeah. not like you really have to look for it. It's it's jumping out. No, yeah. You What you need to do is define it. That's that's the, the thing. It's that there's so much going on. I mean, the way that the way they're distilled and, and barreled and bottled... It, just by nature, it's going to have a lot of a lot of a lot of layers in there. It's very layered, but then when you're playing with the glassware, you're getting all the layers, and it's and then you're you're learning to define it. And it's really, mm -hmm. I think it's a testament to glassware that allows you, as the consumer or the the guy who's just playing around and, and testing, to be able to define what it is that you're having. And then that way you can make a decision whether, oh, I don't like anijos that are like this. I think I'll gravitate this way. Or I like blancos like this, and I'm going to stay away from the ones that, that taste like that. See, this, this helps you form an opinion, and, and glassware is so important. If we've learned anything doing over 600 of these and more uh, over the years is that, is that glassware really does make a difference. And now that there's some uh, more stuff available to us, we're going to keep showing up with with new and new stuff this this could be you may be looking at folks the new the new face of tequila glassware right there <laughs> you know but i love this this is great i think i think brand of promise in and this is unusual in the organic extra category that's beautiful look at that azunia yeah. azunia black two years beautifully made uh, it is yeah. not overly sweet, and like Rick said, I, I think I, I, kudos to the yeah. guys. I think it's going to. You know, personally, I gravitate towards the uh, towards the younger end of most lines. You know, I I enjoy I think I primarily enjoy blancos. I can appreciate them all and enjoy them, but uh, I like the blancos. And so, as a blanco guy, I am really drawn to this XA. I think. Yeah, there's there's a. The same surprise you get with the, with their Blanco version, you will get with this Azunia Black. Uh, now, do, are they calling it an extra? They're calling it um, two years extra on you. Yeah. Private reserve. So, um, and you said it runs for what? 75? 70? You know, like 90. This? Oh, 90. I'm sorry. Wow. I think it's worth every penny, frankly. <laughs> well, know, you know, I... I paid more for XAs, and I think this uh, certainly uh, stands up to them. Yeah, so. I, I believe you. I think uh, 
like I said, Brand of Promise nominee in that category, Azunia, congratulations to Jim Riley and, and Bill Walton and everybody else involved and Agaveros Unidos. Fantastic work. Yeah, beautifully, beautifully done. Congratulations, guys. Uh, you know, we'll see how, well, that organic category, Rick, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> that category will be a dogfight. We, we have some stellar tequilas that we're, I'm not even looking forward to it. I know it's going to, it sounds yeah. like fun. <clears throat> but it's going to be hard. You know, the, uh, the organic category seems they're not going to be just the uh, side category anymore. I no. think they're going to be the main event. I think so, too. Uh, it would not surprise me. It depends on how the season goes and how many tequilas. We're, we're constantly soliciting tequilas, and we, you're going to see newer and newer ones uh, as we go along. But it wouldn't surprise me if, if an organic tequila um, gets nominated for, for Best of Show. You know, it could happen. Just saying. Not sure, but we'll find out, you know, until the end of the season. Uh, it'll be a big year. Stay tuned. A, yeah, please, because we got our work cut out for us. Uh, that's our take on Azunia, Azunia Black, and the whole Azunia line. I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio. That guy over there. Nicholas in San Diego. And whatever you do, continue watching us on YouTube. Please subscribe if you're watching us for the first time and you haven't subscribed. Go ahead and punch that red button. If you go to the website, yeah, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> we don't know what side it's going to appear, but some, you know, suggested the, the suggested videos will pop up somewhere. Go ahead and press the button. Keep, you know, stay, stay on it. Stay on it. You'll be, you'll be fine. You, yeah, and if you've had the black before, tell us what you think in the comments. Uh, but that's our take. Congratulations to the folks at Azunia. And uh, like we like to say here at Tequila Aficionado, tomar sabiamente. Sit wisely.